Yesterday I read a PDF inside Mozilla Firefox and I found that there is a PDF reader inside every browser. So I think can I create my own PDF reader for every browser? So this is PDF.js officially by Mozilla and when I click on the demo then I found that the PDF reader of Firefox is also created with this library. So this is the simple PDF file which we are going to render in our web app. And this is our web app where we are going to render our PDF with all functionalities related to zoom in zoom out and previous and next and much more. So to create this app I have a simple index.html where our html code is going on and have a simple file.pdf which we are going to render in our web app. Yeah, so starting from head, inside our head we have a simple meta description and a simple title and the major important thing is this javascript that load from this cdn which help us to use pdf.js inside our file. So now we have a body tag, inside body we have a div for pdf toolbar, inside another div for navigation controllers and have a button of previous and having an input tag responsible for the pages and another button for next. So this is complete div for navigation controllers and now we are going to create another div for zoom controllers. So to create another div just div with zoom controllers with have two buttons responsible for zoom in and zoom out. Okay so creating another div. So create div with canvas container and have a canvas with pdf render. Here we are going to render our pdf file. So if I save the file then you can see the changes. We have previous button, next button and with the zoom in zoom out and much more. Ok so it's time to be add some javascript here. So to add javascript simply script tag, inside script tag we have a default state and we are going to add state with state of pdf which is null by default and current page and the zoom value. Ok so now we need to be fast the file and render. So to fast the file simply we need to be just pdf.js lib which is come from the javascript.get element document and this is file.pdf which comes from here as you can see and then whatever files come which will be set in the default state and then we can we call render method so now we need to be create a render function to create render function we need to be just function render and then default state.pdf get page and it will get the current page of pdf which is currently loaded and then whatever page comes in the function now we need to be get canvas so document.get element by id pdf render and this will be get the canvas from the dom element you can see here and now we need to be create a 2d context so where ctx canvas.2d context now we need to create viewports so the viewports is same as the uh, size of file so canvas.width is equal to viewport.width and height is also similar to the pdf file now we need to be just render the pdf inside our canvas. So this little method can render our pdf file to the canvas and the complete function is responsible for rendering the file. Now if I save the file then you can see the changes into the browser and you can see that our pdf is successfully loaded here. So you can see that our pdf is loaded rendered successfully into the canvas. So now we need to be make these buttons working. So to do that we are going to just add event listener on the previous button and then we are going to create a function and inside this function we are going to set that if default state.pdf is null and the current page is 1 then we are going to return nothing otherwise in other cases we are going to set the current page to the minus 1 and we need to be change the value of current page to the current page of the default state so this current page is similar to the DOM element of input so as you can see above here uh, input tag so this will change the value of this input tag and then we need to be just called render function and that's okay we are going to call render function and once I save that file you can see this live change on the browser that the previous button is not working currently because we are already on the first page so okay now we need to be created an another same function for the next page if default state.pdf is null and the default state.current page is bigger than the total pages of the uh, current pdf then return no nothing we don't require anything but in other cases we need to be just increment 1 into the current page and we need to be just change the current page value also of the dom element of the input file and after that we need to be just call render function and that's okay so now as you can see in the browser the next button is working correctly and the previous button is also working correctly both buttons are working
so now we need to be just add these buttons also so to do that we are going to just add event listener on zoom in so whenever user click on the zoom in if default state dot pdf is null then return nothing otherwise zoom in with the value of 0.5 so this will increment the default zoom in value of the state and then we are going to just call render function so this will increment the zoom value here and the page will be rendered with new height and width again so let's save the file and see the changes into the browser so now if i click on the increment button then you can see that it will be increment the zoom value and when if i click on the decrement that it doesn't work so let's add this also so this is just the copy of the zoom in function everything's same but the minor change here is that this is increment and this is decrement here same render and when the save the file you can see here that zoom ins work and zoom out is also work next and previous everything work perfectly if you are new here then like and subscribe and if you want to the source code then i will provide it into the description